boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, got a bit of Azure lineup today. So let's go ahead and jump right into what we got going on. As mentioned in the last video, uh, the Rondo at Rainbow's End uh, Call to Arms Iron Blood event has ended. So there are no more sorties up for that. So I hope you managed to get all of the shattered crests that you needed yesterday. All right, so as always, we have what I like to call filler. Uh, Filler generally gets a bad name in terms of anime and whatnot because it's generally not that exciting. Or a case of Bleach, filler would always seem out of place. Uh, it didn't fit in with the timeline of the rest of the actual uh, anime series was going. The filler was always either ahead or behind. So it's uh, kind of bad name. But Azure Lane's filler, uh, usually rerun events, are much, much, much more well thought out and much, much more well applied as is the Wallflower in the Corner rerun event, which we have. This is an awesome event, guys. I mean, uh, it opens up with a cut scene between I-168 and Haman. Uh, I mean, uh, having a little sisterly argument. Uh, in case you're not aware of World War II, um, Yorktown, the carrier Yorktown for the for the United States Navy was sunk at the Battle of Midway. Um, but she she had been attacked by uh, some of the remaining carrier uh, after uh, the other Japanese carriers had been sank. Uh, but she was uh, she was listing slightly, but they, they thought they could actually save her. Uh, so Haman had pulled alongside. Uh, they'd put repair, some repair crews on, and Haman was providing auxiliary power to the ship. Um, unfortunately, uh, the submarine I-168 managed to avoid the picket somehow. Uh, they think it Maybe because uh, the the water was ex, ex, there was a lot of debris and whatnot in the water. They thought maybe that that's what allowed her to do it. But anyway, she got uh, through the picket, managed to get a firing solution, launched some torpedoes. I think four. Um, I think uh, one hit a bond amidships, broke her up uh, as she was sinking. Um, she went down pretty fast apparently, and that she it was a huge explosion. They think it might have been the the uh, the mines that were. In it that she had uh, in stock aboard the ship that exploded. Uh, this caused further damage to an already much damaged Yorktown. Um, a lot of people think that that might have been, uh, you know, it, either way it was the final nail in the coffin and that's what caused Yorktown to actually finish sink. And she did sink uh, afterwards. Uh, so, you know, the, the, you know, the cut scene opens up and you've got I, I'm on challenging uh, I-68 to, um, uh, they end up going to do, looks like they were going to do a foot race is what it was coming out to. But they're actually, you know, it's just a sisterly rivalry uh, uh, playing on that. Yorktown shows up and both ships are, you know, intimidated by the presence of Yorktown. Because, you know, Yorktown uh, in Aslan, she has an extremely, uh, extremely statuesque, very uh, formidable presence, um, you know, with the, with the eagle on her shoulder and everything. So it's, it's very, 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 um, uh, very, very well done. Uh, well played out. Um, so, uh, but yeah, this is what uh, this is. That, that's the first cut scene you're going to see. So these events are just amazing, uh, and it's a way, it's a way that they've been able to blend real life into the actual Azerlane lore, uh, while at the same time uh, doing something completely different with it. So that's you know that's what um, uh, uh, that's what the cut scene is. So this is a very very good event. This is one of uh, one of the favorite events actually. Um, so I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, that's the only event that they've got up. It's a, basically a seven-day event, so it's uh, you got plenty of time. It doesn't end until the 25th, but you'll be eligible to get the actual outfit for I-56. It's this school uniform outfit right here. Um, you'll be able to actually get that on the seventh day, as long as you complete these. But yeah, come on, these are basic. <laughs> Sortie and obtain 10 victories. That's, that's right. I mean, I just did my dailies, and you know, dailies are uh, a count in terms uh, for this particular uh, I think so. I've already got the six. I only need four more, so not piece of cake. And then log in. <laughs> I mean, so you should have it in seven days. Not a problem. And you get the outfit for I uh, I fifty six's outfit. So uh, that's something really nice. Uh, we've got the milestone rewards. Like I said, the sorties are already finished for this. But if you haven't uh, uh, claimed all the rewards within here, uh, you know, go ahead and open up and do that. Uh, and then this right here. This will end up. Uh, this uh, uh, it's up until uh, the eighteenth. Um, so make sure that you complete that. Uh, that's the limit breaking, um, the leveling and limit breaking of the ships to get the points to get the 
uh, limited portrait frame. So make sure that you do get that done before it's done. Uh, I'm almost there. I'll be done probably in another couple days. I've, I've got the the, sh uh, the 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 remaining ships just chilling in my dorm, gathering experience. So they should be finished in a day or two, up to seventy. And then I'll go. I've got the mats to limit break them. I'll limit break them. I'll have about thirty two hundred points uh, and get the portrait frame. Um, so yeah, make sure you do not forget to do that. Now we do have a couple uh, other uh, ancillary items that occurred. First of all, the Imperial uh, Tragic Comet has been entered into the uh, War Archive, so make sure that you uh, take part in that if you uh, were unable to miss it. It's now in the archives, which you can use the tickets. Um, also, uh, inside of the actual permanent events, we now have another uh, science rules has been added. So these are just events that you can get uh, for some of the ships. Okay, you know, Lucio, Saratoga, Javelin, Gridley, uh, Memphis, you know. Uh, so th if, you, if, if you don't have any of these outfits, um, now's the time to get them. Uh, you know, it, 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 do the same thing, you know, just go into the gallery. It takes seven days to complete the events and you get the outfit. So um, uh, it's definitely, you know, that it's in the mini big guy. You should actually go in here and look at these <laughs> and actually see if there's any ones that you don't have, okay? Okay, one at a time. Uh, okay, uh, only choose a mini event to replay. You must commit. Uh, if a mini event rewards you with the skin already owned, you get to, you just get coins instead. So it's just like if the event was actually being rerun, uh, but it's in here now. So there's a lot of events. I mean, uh, these are events for some of the lesser ships, you know, like Craven, um, Signet. <laughs> uh, uh, so these, you know, these. Uh, uh, so these, uh, a lot of these were came out. They were limited, so it, it's now a nice chance to get them. So just uh, you know, check through, see if you've got them. I'll come back in and do one. Uh, and it's just, it's just like. This is many event that we've got going on for uh, Wallflower in the corner. It's a seven-day event, and you get the outfit. So it's the same thing, uh, just doing it from within that. So make sure you take part in that uh, and complete all those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, that's uh, those are the two new ancillary events that have been added um, uh, inside of that. So you might want to take part in, in those. Because we're on some downtime. I mean, there's nothing else going on but that. Uh, so that's a good time to uh, start uh, looking at some of those other events uh, and maybe focus on those, maybe focus on getting, um, you know, an outfit for a ship if you don't have. I'm going to go through. I think I've got most of the outfits in there. There might be one or something that I don't have. Uh, I'll have to look through and see. Uh, and then, you know, you can work on those as well. All right. So other than that, everything seems to be going along pretty good. Uh, and we should have something on the 25th is uh, roughly around the new time that we'll be getting. Uh, our next main event. Uh, don't know what it's going to be as of yet, uh, but hopefully we should find out shortly. They usually give us a, a week's or so notice what, what event's going to be popping up next. Uh, we, uh, so you might want to start focusing on your, um, of course, as always, start focusing on getting your uh, cubes back up so that you'll have enough to reach the pity. Um, so that when that UR event does pop, if things don't go your way, you'll have enough cubes to hit the pity guaranteed to get to you or ship. I've never had to go to the pity yet, but I've had to go close with Shinano. Um, but I always want to keep uh, keep those wisdom cubes in run so that uh, uh, so that if it does come to that, you'll, you'll be guaranteed to get the ship. And since they are your ships, you want to make sure that you get them all. Uh, with how quick it is to level up ships inside of here uh, and work out, you can get uh, you can get a UR ship, uh, and within a week or two. Uh, you can have that ship, you know, ready to go. I mean, you can have it. I mean, you can have it with the data packs and whatnot. You can have a ship limited up uh, almost to, you know, uh, in just a day or two. Um, but you know, you got to do the skills. You know, uh, you might have already if you have already set of equipment or something to put on it. But you might have to, you know, make up a special set of equipment. Uh, so it can take it can take a little time. But you could e easily field a your ship. Um, you know, to 120 fairly fairly quickly, and then if you got the cognitive arrays, of course, you can take them up to 125, which is what you should do. Uh, all of the UR ships are worth taking to 125 uh, in one way or the other because they are UR ships, uh, and there's a reason they're UR ships. Um, uh, they're good ships, and <laughs> would complement any fleet. Um, but 
you want to have the cubes just in case if you come up short you'll be able to go all the way and guaranteed to get the ship so start building up building those up so that when our UR event does hit uh, you'll be ready to participate if need be all right uh, so that's it all I got uh, remember subscribe you'll see a bell click on it like and share the video as that helps the channel immensely so this is Ken Rear, still coming at you from the corner signing out <laughs>